I put a headset on and step into a virtual world. It feels almost real. I can walk, crawl, run and do whatever I want to. The only little difference is that unlike in the real world, I can walk through objects and people without bumping into them. It reminds me of the famous 1990s Matrix movie. In only a few seconds I completely forget that there is another real world around me. This freedom of movement is enabled by three cutting-edge technologies. The immersive Oculus Rift headset, Optitrex motion tracking technology and a virtual reality floor called the OmniDeck, which was brought to the UK for the first time by the transport systems catapult in Milton Keynes. This is the OmniDeck 6, the missing link between the reality and the virtual reality. So what you see here behind me is my colleague Peter now walking around in Milton Keynes outside here and as he would be there for real. Omnidex smoothly responds to Peter's movements by compensating for the speed of his steps. Although he is walking through the unlimited space of the virtual world, he will never walk off the floor. He's constrained to a wire and when the wire stops, he stops. But being able now to have th this floor, he can move totally freely in, in the world. Omnideck was launched in December last year and has seen a huge amount of interest from researchers, architects and designers, the military and of course the gaming industry. The next thing is, is to bring in the tech feed so you get to feel, so you can be able to feel the screen here with your hands. That's going to be a huge step. And also an uh, important thing is, is to combine sound with, with, with the visual and the smell. So all, if you, when you can have all these together, you're going to be fully, fully immersed. This virtual world in Milton Keynes is designed to test the interaction between pedestrians and driverless cars. So for example, if the pod is approaching you on, on a pavement, do you need to know uh, that the pod has recognized your presence? Do you need to know that it's going to change course or direction and therefore should it in indicate it externally? There's a whole bunch of questions like this that we're, we're interested to investigate and we can do it in a safe controlled environment. But the potential of the tool is of course much wider. So we believe that there's a number of opportunities to use virtual reality to help decision makers make decisions, to take away the emphasis on large lengthy reports and 2D drawings and to use a consistent language to communicate the future um, designs of infrastructure, civil engineering projects and other possible areas where using visual media is much more powerful communicating what's intended.